Well, <laughs> we, uh, it was, you know, I think in, in, in my mind, a great opportunity for us to come and play Maryland here, you know, short distance away from campus, um, get a chance to play against one of the best teams in the country. Uh, it's one of the reasons we put it on the schedule um, is because, we, you know, Maryland can test us in ways that other guys can't. And, um, although we took us a little while to get going, I'm happy with the fight that our kids showed. I thought we made a few um, improvements today in certain areas of the game. Um, and right now with the, the inexperience and we're a little shorthanded without our leading scorer, I feel like it's just an it's just opportunity to play 40 minutes against a great team and try and get better. Hey, Jim, what was Maryland doing defensively in the first half? Yeah. You think that kind of really maybe frustrated you guys a little bit? Yeah, they just have good size and athleticism. Yeah. So for them to be able to switch, you know, at, at every position and still handle, you know, when our post players get on a guard, they, they seem to, you know, be able to handle that and help each other well. And we were a little unorganized um, with our press break, so they were able to get a few steals early. And uh, again, I thought we adjusted well in the second half. We handled their press a lot better. Um, but yeah, they just they they just come at you and they don't stop. You know, it's just relentless. It's not necessarily that they're trapping all the time, but they're just always there. So if you get tired and you get careless with the ball, or if you have the wrong guy catch it, we have a freshman, you know, catching it in the wrong spot. Um, you know, they take advantage of that, and uh, and then we just, you know, our turnovers resulted in us not being able to get back in transition defense. So, you know, we've talked a lot about how our offense dictates our ability to get our defense set or get set up in a press, and we just weren't able to do that with how much we turned it over in the first half. When you game plan for Maryland. Which, I mean, you, is your one play looking yeah. to try to stop and say, Kyle, <laughs> Kyle, you might take away step in. They have so many, obviously, yeah. they have so many weapons. They do. And again, it's a matter of us getting better as a team defensively, yeah. um, not so much focusing on one matchup. Yeah. Uh, so our, with only one day to prepare, because we played Wednesday night and then had to travel on Thursday, we didn't really get a chance to practice. But our focus and shoot around today was. You know, we, we, we got to make sure we get out to the shooters, which we, we didn't do with 22 early in the game. Uh, and then we got to make sure we're ready to help off of everybody else. And not because they can't score, but because they're looking to drive. And so, you know, making sure that our rotations were there. And again, it wasn't there all the time, but there was definitely better rotations than I've been seeing in a while. And then trying to make sure that when we switch defensively, we've got guys committed to their defensive stance. Um, you know, they're just big and they're athletic. We had a hard time rebounding the ball. We got to do a better job of getting bodies on people and then just being tougher, you know, through contact and make, making sure we can still go get it. And we won't see anybody with this kind of size in the A10 or even the rest of our non conference schedule, but that's not really the point. You know, we say that to our kids every year that, you know, we're not preparing for, you know, one team. We're preparing to try and be our best. Um, and so we want to play the best. And we've, we've put together, I mean, after today, our strength of schedule will probably be under 20. So we'll have one of the hardest non-conference, you know, schedules in the country. And the best thing about it is that through it all, our kids have stayed together and stayed positive, and we haven't lost them yet. So we just got to find, you know, find that rhythm, find that trust in each other, let our young guys get a little more experience, and, um, you know, let, let them play against teams where they can see this is, this is one of the best. So if you want to be able to play at this level, you got to work really, really hard like they do. Yeah, you know, scored you 44 to 16 in the paint. Like yeah. You said with the size yeah. and uh, being shorthanded down there, did you just feel slightly overmatched down low? Oh, definitely. We we were definitely overmatched down low, uh, and we knew we would. But again, it's a it's sometimes a measure of t toughness to just find a way. Um, so it's good opportunity for us to take that film and show our guys when hey, this is when you were tough and you boxed out, and this is when you weren't. It's an opportunity for our guards to see how much they need to help us sometimes with those those loose ball rebounds. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, like Kelly, you know, Kelly Prangy's a six-four kid. She, you know, averages seven or eight rebounds a game. So that would have been nice to have her. But we're not, you know, again, we're not preparing necessarily for to beat Maryland in December. You know, we want to beat, you know, teams in in February, March. So if this opportunity to play against a great team prepares us to be tougher and to box out harder and to find a way to play small when we're shorthanded at the post spot, then it'll be worth coming over here and get beat like we did. That's how we look at it.